Here we have a tree in the Tiliaceae family. Its genus is Tilia, and the specific epithet is Americana. This is Tilia Americana, American basswood, sometimes also known as American linden. Let's take a look at some of its identifying characteristics. The bark of basswood has flat topped ridges with narrow fissures. These can become a little bit deeper with age, but this is fairly typical for a tree this size. Basswoods have a tendency to sprout from the base, especially if planted too deep or if there's injury to the roots or the trunk. Basswoods will tend to have a single trunk most of the way up, and they'll start to branch out, but the branches tend to keep the crown fairly conical and so it's not going to be as widespreading as maybe uh, some of the oaks. Basswoods or lindens have alternately arranged leaves and buds. Here you can see the newest growth is a bright green color. If this were in more sunlight, this would actually turn uh, red, very red color. In fact, sometimes you can see the top will be red and the underside will be green in response to the amount of sunlight. The buds are slightly flattened on two sides, but more or less rounded. This is a fairly typical representation of a basswood, especially American basswood, leaf. It is a single, simple leaf with teeth along the edge. It has a base that is in equilateral, so one side drops a little bit lower than the other side top is a nice green color and the underside a bit lighter in color. The fruit of the basswood is this little nutlet and on top is this leafy bract. In the spring where this little nutlet is would have been a white bell flower, bell shaped flower with a very good fragrance. Basswoods are a favorite of pollinators. The tall tree in the center is American basswood, also known as American linden. It has a fairly conical shape to it. This would be a medium to large, large size shade tree.